Whiskey Cast. Proudly brought to you by Redbreast, the definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Join the still house at singlepotstill.com and receive an exclusive whiskey tasting journal. I'm Mark Gillespie. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. This time around, I'm in Kirkwall on the island of Orkney. It's about as far north as you can go in Scotland. You can see the twin pagodas of the Highland Park Distillery right behind me. I'm here at Highland Park's invitation because they wanted me to get a feel for what makes this scotch different from other scotch whiskies. The answer really isn't in the liquid itself, but more in the culture. You see, Orkney is far more Scandinavian in nature than it is Scottish. The original residents of Orkney thousands of years ago had their own Neolithic civilization based on farming and fishing. The Ring of Broadguard dates back to 2500 BC, but Highland Parks never named a whiskey after it, since we don't know what the people of Orkney called it back then. Broadguard is a name the Vikings gave that piece of land when they invaded Orkney 1500 or so years ago. They were very naughty people, but they also brought an awful lot of interesting um, stories and myths and things to the islands that have lived on. And um, Highland Park has been very fortunate in um, latching onto some of these wonderful stories and, and using them to enrich its, its, um, its heritage, really. And to think, the Vikings didn't even have whiskey. That didn't happen until one of the local ministers, Magnus Junsen, decided to start making whiskey in the hills overlooking Kirkwall in 1798. That's where it all started, because there were really good water up there, and um, it's his little bothy there, so he had his little still in his house and made naughty whiskey, hid it under the pulpit of his church, and managed to evade the uh, excise men. Yunsen's whiskey took advantage of the local water and Orkney's unique variety of peat, which has a chemical composition that's much different from the peat found in other parts of Scotland. It wasn't a secret that Magnus Yunsen was making whiskey, but it took the gaugers years to catch him. The very exciseman that was chasing him um, with his illicit whiskey actually bought the distillery and made it legitimate in, in 1824. Highland Park's been legal ever since, of course, and the distillery's a lot bigger now, but things haven't changed all that much. It's one of the few distilleries in Scotland that still uses a traditional malting floor and still uses the locally grown peat. About 20% of Highland Park's barley is still malted on site, and almost all of the whiskey produced here is matured on Orkney as well. I think it's a wonderful story, the, the whole Magnus Junsen and the 200, what is it now, 14 years on that site and you can, uh, those stories are really vivid and feel, st still feel quite real when you, when you look around this town and imagine that these are where these guys actually trod those footsteps and got up to some of those antics that we, we talk about. So no, I, I didn't find it hard at all to sort of go native and, <laughs> and fully embrace it all. Graham Manson moved to Orkney from Edinburgh with his family last year to become Highland Park's distillery manager and keep an Orkney tradition alive. I just think, wow, this is pretty cool. You know, this is a... I did, the boy did well, I think. You know, I've, 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 got, this, I've got this great job, um, super brand, good people to work for, a really lovely place to live. Yeah, I, got a feeling, I guess I've got a feeling of smug satisfaction. <laughs> There's still one mystery, though. Technically, Orkney isn't part of the Scottish Highlands. So how did Highland Park get its name? Highland Park came from the fact that we're up on the top of the hill and among the fields, and fields in Orkney are called parks. And because we're high up, it's a high park, and it just evolved as Highland Park. So it's not something translated from ancient Neolithic ruins, just the Orcadian way of describing that field up on top of the hill. For more cask strength conversation on whiskeys with the people who make them and the people who drink them, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. In Kirkwall, Orkney, I'm Mark Gillespie.